Isn't it an awful feeling to be on the receiving end of ungratefulness? I'm talking about moments that just make you say, that's the thanks I get? Like a friend who shows no reaction whatsoever to a carefully chosen gift that you've given him or her. Or the boss who never notices you when you go above and beyond your call of duty. Oh, but heaven forbid you make one little mistake, right? And boy, does your boss notice you. Or the family member who's never satisfied, therefore always asking for more, no matter how much you give. But as bad as it feels to not be appreciated, it's being ungrateful that's the bigger issue at hand. Because when we forget to express gratitude for all the blessings in our lives, we become weighed down by our problems, and our troubles begin to define us. In the never-ending busyness of our days, we take for granted all the wonderful people in our lives. We don't realize all the blessings we have received from them and in them. This is exactly why Jesus condemns the villages of Chorazin and Bethsaida. Jesus had preached and healed many in those two towns, yet the people there remained unaffected and unmoved by the compassion of God in their very midst. In essence, they were committing the sins of indifference or, and inaction. When we don't care, or when we do nothing, well, in essence, it becomes like the ungrateful and unrepentant people of Chorazin and Bethsaida, whose hearts are numb and have no capacity to feel. We are allowing our sins to not only deny us the duty of love, but also prevent us from producing fruits of gratitude. We are called to grow in the riches of faith, to care, and to extend gratitude for the gifts freely given to us. So take a moment every now and then to just look around our world, then offer a prayer of thanks for those who manifest the love of God in our midst. In every community, in every parish, and in every household, God's mighty deeds take place in the selfless generosity and humble affection that we experience among the people we encounter. From the friend who remembers to call you, the co-worker who gives you a compliment, a genuine compliment, from your spouse who brings you a cup of coffee when you're just exhausted and you don't feel like getting up, to the neighbor who offers to cut your grass, the list goes on and on. We have much to be thankful for. And if you feel underappreciated, don't wallow in your misery. Get up and actively give to others what you yourself desire. Set a pattern of appreciation that will overtake your community or your social circle. Take delight in and giving thanks for all that God brings into your life in all circumstances. The thankful heart is the worshipful heart. We can set a pattern of love by which others can discern that we are indeed true followers of Jesus. And it starts with me and you and you and you. It starts with all of us. Thank you for joining us for the celebration of the Mass today. It's a blessing that you are with us. Every broadcast of this liturgy goes out to hundreds of people and hundreds of people all over the world. It's been an enormous blessing. If you'd like to support this virtual ministry of OLPH, please go to our website. You can support this ministry by going to Give Central so that we can continue to broadcast the liturgy each and every week. Thank you for your support. Most of all, thank you for joining us today. God bless you. Greetings from OLPH.